Hello, I'm Andy from the Engineers Academy and today we're going to be carrying out torsion tests on two different samples of material. First of all we're going to be carrying out a torsion test on cast iron and then secondly we're going to be carrying out a torsion test on 0.4% carbon steel. Now the machine that we have here is the torsion tester and basically what we do is we load each test piece into the machine between these two chucks. Now when we begin the test, what's going to happen is one end of that test piece is going to be twisted or rotated. And we have some information on the display here around how much that has been twisted by. The machine actually has an audible click, and every time we hear a click, this is actually being twisted. So we see here on the information plate, one revolution equals 0.3 degrees at output shaft. So as you can imagine, in order to twist the test piece through 0.3 degrees every click, we're going to need to place it under a torque. And what we have on this second display is a reading of the torque that's required in order to twist the test piece. Now we're going to run this test to failure, so we're going to continue twisting the test piece until it eventually fails. And what we'll have is a recording of the torque required, as well as the angle of twist that caused the material to fail. So let's load the first test piece into the machine and then we'll begin the test. Okay, so loaded into the machine we have our sample of cast iron and a couple of things you'll notice before we begin. First of all, we've zeroed our display for the torque reading here and also we've zeroed our display in the top left hand corner for the angle of twist. Now when we begin running this test we're going to start off very slowly so that we can observe what happens to the sample of material as it goes through elastic deformation. We'll then speed things up as we move through plastic deformation before taking the sample to failure. So let's begin the test. And what you'll notice very early on is that the sample of material begins to pick up tension as we rotate that left hand chuck. So we're up to around 9 newton meters there. Now when this test piece moves into plastic deformation, what we would expect is that torque reading will begin to level off. So the test piece will continue to deform, but we won't see a considerable rise in the torque reading. So as we can see that leveling off now, I'm just going to increase the speed a little bit. So our test piece here is very much into plastic deformation and as we've seen the test piece has failed in the centre. Okay so let's take a look at our second sample of material. Okay so this time we have our sample of 0.4% carbon steel and once again we've zeroed the two displays so let's begin the test. And again we notice the test piece picking up torque very quickly or picking up tension as it goes through elastic deformation. And we're seeing those torque readings rise steadily as we would expect. We can see that the torque appears to be levelling off. increase that a little more now I suspect that this one will go through significantly more plastic deformation as the material isn't as brittle as the cast iron so I'm going to increase the speed a little more and now we're going to run the test to failure So we can clearly see that there's a significant amount of plastic deformation on this test piece. 
the material is much softer and more malleable than the previous sample. When we observe the test piece at the end of this process, we'll be able to notice how many full revolutions this piece of material has actually completed before failure. We can see some of the surface oxidation crumbling from the surface as we twist this test piece. Note that a thousand revolutions or a thousand clicks here is somewhere in the order of 300 degrees. So at the moment we've done in excess of three full twists and we're moving close to all four full twists or four full turns of 360 degrees. Okay, perfect, so our sample of 0.4 carbon steel has eventually failed, and we can see the fracture over on the right hand side of the test piece.